Hi, it's Bernadette with By the Book Accounting, and today's tutorial is on business expenses. What can I deduct? So, the number one question that I'm asked by business owners is, What can I deduct? It never fails when I'm teaching a seminar or workshop or, t or speaking to a, a um, group of small business owners. I get the question, Does the tax code have a list? of deductible items and unfortunately the answer is no the tax code is pretty general when it comes to what can be deducted so I'm gonna give you uh, a plain English explanation of what the tax code says so the tax code says that in order for a business expense to be deductible it has to be ordinary or necessary so let's talk about what that means Ordinary means that it's a common and accepted expense. So it's something that happens commonly um, and anyone in your industry would have this same expense. It's often frequent in nature and it, re and it could reoccur. It doesn't necessarily have to reoccur. So let me give you an example. By the Book Accounting is a an accounting firm and one of the services that we offer is tax preparation so because tax preparation is a service that we offer purchasing tax software is an ordinary expense It's something that's common so if I were in a group of other tax professionals and I said I purchased my tax software from XYZ they would say yeah I purchased mine from ABC it's common it's accepted everyone in my industry that prepares tax returns purchases tax software on the flip side if I owned a sports bar and I purchased 10 50 inch flat screen TVs because I own a sports bar and people come to a sports bar to watch TV and watch the games and they want to see multiple games on it's, it's not uncommon to see that purchasing 10 flat screen TVs would be an ordinary expense for a sports bar owner because that is something that's common in their industry however as a tax accountant I don't think I could get away with purchasing 10 black screen TVs because it's not ordinary in my industry now we may be able to make it necessary but it's not ordinary so you see how an ordinary expense is something that's ordinary and you also see how an ordinary expense can vary from industry to industry that's the reason why there's no list so these things can vary now when we talk about necessary necessary on the flip side is an expense that is probably not common um, but however it could be helpful and appropriate for your business so these are expenses that you incur that may not be something that people in your industry are incurring as business expenses but it may be something that you incur because of the way that you do business so I'll use myself as an example as as my clients know each year um, I um, host a client appreciation picnic so I rent a pavilion at the local park I cook a lot of great food and I'm a pretty good cook and we get together it's a really good time the kids play on the playground the adults sit under the pavilion in the shade and they talk and they network it's a very relaxed atmosphere it allows us all me and my clients to get a get to know each other in a in a relaxed setting so it's kind of a win-win for everyone um, so because in my business I want to build relationships with my clients I want my clients to know that they're more than just a tax folder I want my clients to know that I appreciate them for by the book accounting this is a necessary expense because it is necessary for us to do this every year to create that environment so hopefully you understand ordinary and necessary and how it will apply in your business and again it's gonna it's gonna be different from every industry so here's a list of some common uh, business deductions and this is not an exhaustive list this is just some of the things that are pretty common from business to business it doesn't matter um, what industry you're in most business owners incur these expenses so we talk about advertising bank fees car and truck fees and and the ones that have asterisks are ones that have special uh, rules and I'll do a, a separate video on those things um, dues for organizations or trade associations and things like that 
employee benefits, gifts. Again, that's one of those with special rules. Insurance, and this is usually um, like liability insurance, property insurance, things like that. Um, legal and professional fees, meals and entertainment, also some special rules. Office expenses, rent, repairs and maintenance, salaries, travel, uniforms. Again, we have special rules that apply to those expenses. Non-deductible expenses, and these are some of the things that people try to deduct, but not they are not deductible as business expenses. So clothing, unless it's protective wear or uniform. So just because you are a lawyer and you need suits to go to court and you have to dry clean those suits, your clothing is not deductible if it's clothing that you can wear somewhere else. Now, if you have a blazer with your um, company logo embroidered on it then that blazer now becomes a uniform because it has your logo on it and this the cost of purchasing that blazer as well as the cost of maintaining that blazer becomes a deductible expense but until then it's not so if it's something if you can wear your clothes somewhere else to a party to a church or to a social gathering then it's not a uniform it's not deductible Country club, social club, athletic club dues, not deductible. Commuting expenses aren't deductible. Fines and penalties incurred from law violations. So if you get a ticket, if you're a truck driver and you get a ticket for speeding, you can't deduct that on your taxes. You broke the law. You can't deduct the penalty for breaking the law. Gifts um, over $25. Again, that's one of those special rules. So if you give a $50 gift, you can only deduct 25 Life insurance premiums are not deductible. The only time that you can deduct a life insurance premium is if the company is the beneficiary. And this is known as key man insurance. So if something happens to you, the company benefits. It's usually a policy that's purchased so that the business can continue if something happens to the owner. Personal living and family expenses. So no, you can't deduct your groceries. You can't deduct um, just expenses that you would ordinarily have to live. Political contributions, tax penalty payments are not deductible. So just to wrap it up, this is a lot of this information is found in my book. So if you want to pick up a copy of it to get more detailed information, it is available on Amazon.com and by the book accounting.com. Thank you again for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like and comment on the video.